Hi, this is Sahana. Today we are going to understand the role of program.cs file in ASP.NET Core MVC application. This is our ASP.NET Core MVC application. If you are following the series, then I have a quick update for you. The first change is I have updated the home page with this section. If you check description, there you will get a link to my GitHub repository. If you go to views folder, there you will find home folder. Inside home folder, you have index.cshtml. Here you will get a change. And one more update is in our last session, we have implemented this add new article functionality where we have discussed how to work with this select list. I have implemented how to update and delete article. You can visit the source code. You will get the changes. I will quickly show you how does it look. We can type article. It will take you to index view. And here you get an option to edit article as well as you can delete article. As there was nothing new to be taught, I did not record them. This is same as adding, editing and deleting tutorial. If you check the source code, you will understand it. There is nothing new. So let's start with our today's session. Talking about program.cs file, this is very important file in ASP.NET Core application. This is our project structure. Here at the bottom, you can find program.cs file. First important thing is, this is the entry point of the application. That means execution starts from this file. Next is, it creates instance of web application builder and lets us configure our application easily. We'll see this practically. And this is a place where we can configure services and HTTP request handling pipeline. At the beginning, I have mentioned that this file is the starting point of the application. Let's verify that. I'll put breakpoint here and also I'll put breakpoint at several different places. I'll open article controller and I'll put breakpoint at index action method. I will open home controller and I will place breakpoint here. I'll do the same thing for tutorial controller and I'll place breakpoint. Now I'll run the application. As soon as I run this application, we got control here at create builder method. This method, this create builder method creates instance of web application builder. Right now it is null. I will press F10. Now it has created web application builder with pre-configured defaults. It has some information on environment, host, logging, service and other stuffs. If you expand environment, this says this is development environment and it has stored information on host. Next, logging. Whenever necessary, we can make use of this instance to do further settings. As said earlier, this is the place where we configure services and HTTP request handling pipeline. Services can be of any type. In this case, we are adding add controllers with views because our application is ASP.NET Core MVC web application. It has views. So we are making use of add controllers with views. If you are working on web API, then it will be just add controller. With this, we are telling the framework our application has views as well. If you have created fresh application, then you will not have these lines of code. We are using Entity Framework Core with SQL Server. So we have it here. Next, we have different services to handle tutorial and article functionality. And we wanted to make use of built-in dependency injection container. So we have registered them here. In short, program.cs file is the place where we register different services. Next, again, here is an important section. Here we are configuring different HTTP request pipeline with different middleware components. We are using this use static files middleware to enable our application to serve static files like images, CSS, JavaScript and other stuff. And we wanted to enable routing. So we have this use routing here. We are using map controller route so that application will know when application launches, which is the default which is the default route it has to take. Thus, this file plays very important role in ASP.NET Core applications. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.